Hita Erpeter is a character of Bulgarian folklore. He is a poor village farmhand, but possesses remarkable slyness, wit and wile. He is the perpetual antagonist of either the rich nobles, clerics or money lenders. He is therefore regarded as a strictly positive figure and a hero of the common folk. This story tells of Little Peter and Poisonous Danitsa. Little Peter's parents apprenticed him to a wealthy man to earn some money. The master always looked askance at him either his hens did not lay, enough, eggs, his pig was not well fed or his oxen were getting sick it was always Little Peter's fault. One morning, the mistress rolled out Danitsa, pie, but not an ordinary one. It was all a rich man's recipe with more butter, sugar and eggs. She baked it, covered it with a towel to soften and told Little Peter, I am going to attend the church service. Sweep the floor, cut some wood and keep the house safe, safeguard the house. Remember, do not eat from the pie. I added poison instead of salt by mistake. Little Peter swept the floor helter-skelter, hanged about some time doing very little and his eyes were still in the baking pan with the bannets. Not that he believed in what the mistress said about the salt and the poison, but who knows. He lifted one end of the towel and pinched a tiny piece. He lifted it again and pinched again. He was so delighted that he couldn't help pinching it again and again until he gobbled up half of the pie. Why don't I cut some wood as my strength came, said Little Peter. He raised his hand with the axe to aim such a heavy blow that he broke the handle. He walked back into the room, lay on the couch and fell asleep. At one point the mistress returned from the church. She watched in disbelief and what she saw half of the bandits was missing. Peter was sleeping. She woke him up. Peter, did you eat half of the pie? Yes, I did. Why are you sleeping? I am waiting to get poisoned. Why are you waiting to get poisoned? Because I broke the axe handle while I was cutting wood, Mistress Dot. Instead of being bitten, I decided to get poisoned. Didn't you say the banitza was poisonous? Whether she believed his story or not she laughed, at his words, but forgave him. And the master, who always blamed Bitter for everything, said, Tomorrow, you will dig the vineyard.